So today we're going to take a look at how to disable the RGB on your Asus motherboard when the computer shut down. Hello folks and welcome back again. So recently you've maybe decided to buy yourself a, a nice new pre-built PC from uh, one of the companies out there or you've decided to give it a try yourself and you've built your very first PC or you've just decided to upgrade your motherboard. You've got it all built up, you've been enjoying it all day, sitting in your nice desk in the corner of your bedroom and you've decided time for bed. You shut down the PC, head on the pillow, lights off, and you're greeted by what can only be described as a mini disco going off in your bedroom. No chance you're going to sleep in that. And it's all thanks to these little RGB lights on your motherboard that decide to stay on when the PC shut down. What I'll do is I'll go through a couple of the suggestions that I noticed online for how to get the lights to stay off when you shut your PC down. Didn't exactly work for me, but then I'll show you exactly what I did do to, to keep them off uh, when your PC is powered down. One of the first things that was suggested to try is to go into your BIOS and then hit advanced and go down to onboard devices and then if you scroll down to the bottom here you should see some options for turning off some of the RGB. Um, this didn't work for me at all. It seemed as if it was going to work, the options are there. Other, other people stated it would work but it didn't ever work for me. So the other thing that I, um, I noticed was suggested was to go back into advanced um, and then to your power management. Under the power management configuration, uh, where is it? Here it is here. Um, there's an ERP ready option and you can change that to enable S4 and S5. Now when I tried this S4 and S5 thing, it worked. When I shut the PC down, the lights stayed off. Um, but... There was a couple of issues with it. The first issue was the boot time when you fired your PC back up seemed to take way longer than, than usual. I, I don't like that. I, I like my PC firing up pretty instant. Um, so that was my first thing I, I discovered with that setting. The other thing was that for some bizarre reason my graphics card didn't kick in in the first boot. Um, I had to shut the PC down again and then in the second boot for some reason the graphics cards kicked in at that stage. Don't know why, I couldn't tell you, I'm not that knowledgeable to, to explain the reason behind that and um, maybe somebody out there who's more clued up about PCs and stuff like that can tell me why that's happened if you know, but basically that wasn't an option for me. So what I'd done was actually go into the Armoury Crate software itself. If you open that up, um, you'll be greeted by this screen. Now what I think a lot of people might fall for is there's actual Aura Sync options here. When you click on that, there's actually nothing in there for shutdown effects. What you actually need to do is click on the devices itself, click on your motherboard, and then you'll see an option here for shutdown effect. By default it'll be on, and by default it'll be the rainbow effect. Now you might want to keep this on and you've got a choice of different, different lighting effects if you want to keep it that way, but simply turn it off, and that should do it for you. And then all you need to do is just, fingers crossed it works for you, shut your PC down and hopefully the lights will go off for you as shown on the screen just now. Yeah, so that's it. That's another video over and the sun's gone so I'm sitting here in darkness with no lights on. But uh, yeah, I thought I'd just make this, um, it's just one of those things that might catch people out thinking going into the BIOS and changing these settings and nothing works. It's, it's just a, a case of the getting into the Armoury Create software and, and ticking that little option and hopefully it all works out for you. But yeah, um, if you can, as always, please leave a like and subscribe. Any comments, again, would be appreciated, negative or positive. And uh, hopefully I'll be back sometime soon with something else for you guys. See you later.